syncing Gmail across devices. Gmail can be a great time saver by allowing you to use one email address to pick up all of your emails in one place on multiple devices. After you have set up and confirmed your account, go to the gear symbol in the upper right corner and select Mail Settings. You will see all the things that you can change in your account in this window. Along the top of the box, under the Word Settings, you will see tabs for different areas that you can change. This video just covers setting up forwarding of all of your emails to your Gmail account. Other videos in our series will cover other aspects of using Gmail. Make sure to check back at www.net101.com forward slash videos for additional videos. Let's walk through what you need to do to be able to pick up your mail from Gmail and have Gmail sync all the different locations that you will be picking up your email at. First, select forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Next, disable pop. Under IMAP, select enable IMAP. Next, select auto expunge. This is what updates the email server for you no matter where you are accessing your email. Now let's select archive the message. In case you're worried about running out of room with all these archives, I have run all my email through Gmail since 2007 and I have only used 65% of my free storage space. Now select do not limit the number of messages in an IMAP folder and hit the save changes button. You will be returned to the Gmail inbox. Use the gear icon to again access the mail settings and again access the forwarding and pop IMAP area. Next, go to just above the Save Changes button where it says Configure your email clients. The configuration instructions can always be accessed at this address, which again is also in the video class sheet accompanying this video. This link will give you very detailed instructions on how to configure the most common email software and mobile devices. If your email software or mobile device is not listed here, chances are that you can use these instructions to configure your software anyway. Just click on the other link for detailed instructions. Remember, you could also access Gmail using a web browser directly through your Google account and don't necessarily have to have an email software or a mobile device. Just go to this address at mail.google.com and log in if you had not done so already. Once you have set up your computer and mobile devices you plan to use to pick up your email, have someone send you an email to your new email address. The reason you want someone else to send you an email is because Gmail will not show email sent from its own servers, so you need to receive your test email from another address. Once you have set up your account and configured how you pick up your email, you will want to go through all of the tabs on the setup page. You can set up filters, vacation responders, and much more. Very easy to do all of this and Google walks you through all of the necessary steps. In our video setting up your business email address, we will show you how to set up an email address for your business that includes your domain name and then how to forward it through to your Gmail account. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video which includes more information and resources.